how are you doing? So, <clears throat> little job. Uh, I was meant to get it done over the winter, but obviously got tied up with the rear subframe and radius arms and that, so I didn't quite get around to it. I wanted to get these front speakers replaced, and I need to do something about the inside of the door bins here. Um, so, but they're really nicely finished. This is. It's um, they've been covered in leather. Obviously, minis don't usually have door speakers, so it fits a door speaker in nicely. But there's just um, the inside's horrible. They're made of like fiberglass, and the material on the insides all come off. So I want to get them off. I want to replace the speakers at the same time. So these are Infinity component speakers with custom crossovers. Uh, the crossovers are up behind the fresh air vents. Um, and I thought these were six, I think they're six and a quarter inch. I never know how to measure speakers. They're six and a half inch on the outside sort of grill. And they're what I would say is a six and a quarter inch cone. But I've looked everywhere and I can't find six and a quarter inch infinity speakers. I only do six and a half from what I can see. So that's what I'm going to have to go with. So the reason I'm replacing them is these are pretty much as old as the car is. They don't sound fantastic in the front. I think they're probably just a little bit worn out. But I really wanted to keep them as infinity speakers just because I've used infinity in lots of stuff before they're pretty good speakers but for some reason they seem to be pretty hard to come by in the UK so let's get these out I've ordered a setup off on eBay which I'll show you in a moment uh, we might have some problems but I'll talk to you about that in a moment So as you can see these things are pretty well made, uh, they're covered really nicely, so it's like it's leather, I don't know whether it's fake leather, yeah it might be, uh, but they're, they're fiberglass, got a little enclosure here, this is where it looks horrible, you can't see it really but it's just horrible inside so I don't know what I'm going to do with that, I just want to cover it with some fabric or something like that, just to make it a bit nicer. Um, and hopefully I've ordered the right speakers so like I say I wanted to sit I wanted to keep I wanted to stick with infinity speakers don't know why I just like them as I say these are pretty old so these are infinity kappa 60 cs whatever that is. So the ones I've got in the back are Infinity Cappers as well. So this is where I've really got to keep my fingers crossed. So, like I say, that's the old speaker that comes out. It actually measures six and a quarter inches. Couldn't find any six and a quarter. But when I measured the outside, it was six and a half on the outside. So I'm not sure whether, how speaker manufacturers do the measurements. But anyway, the speaker's not bad, like I say, just old. I'm really replacing it because the grills are a little bit horrible. On the other side, it's uh, broken up the grill. Um, that's what we've got to play with. I'm really pleased, actually, because I noticed they've not cut into the door card and not cut into the door itself. So, purely by fluke, I need some shallow fit speakers to go back in it. And I hadn't thought of that at all. But I was on eBay the other night, I've been looking for a while, and I found these Infinity 6512 SIs. They're Infinity reference speakers, so they're not component, they're two-way speakers, uh, and they're shallow mount as well, so pure fluke. I didn't look, I didn't specially order shallow mount speakers, but hopefully they'll do the job. So these are kind of new, old stock, as you can see the box is a bit beaten up. I don't know how they are, you can't get hold of them now anyway, they're, they're probably 10 years old or something like that, but 
they're new anyway. Packaging's not brilliant. Uh, so, those are the speaker grills. They are bigger than the old one. I've just got to hope it all fits now. Not that much bigger. Um, it looks right. So like I say, these are new old stock. They're still in a sealed bag, so it's not been opened, which is a good sign. Will they fit? Uh, depth wise, it's not going to be a problem. Well, I think I'll stop recording at that point. So the speaker fits in there reasonably well. It is a little bit tight, but the um, the speaker grill is going to take a little bit of work. I think I probably need to make up another spacer ring. Well, guys, that ain't gone well. So speaker's fitted on all right. I've just plugged them in the car just to make sure they're working and they sounded absolutely rubbish. Uh, so these are brand new, they're boxed, they were sold as new. But just look at the cones here. Just completely unstuck the whole way around. You know, I don't know. What is that? Is that just because it's new old stock? They've been sitting on a shelf, maybe sitting in the damp for too long. Gutted, 50 quid they were, so I'll have to get back onto the cellar. Right guys, so fast forward a few days. I think it's four days actually since I last filmed a bit. Um, so yeah, change of outfit and all that. Uh, so I've contacted the guy on eBay or tried to at least, and guess what? Uh, no communication back again, so he's not responding. Um, Typical rubbish with eBay, isn't it? So what will happen is I'll have to wait a week or something like that, and then I can, I think eBay step in and sort it out. And eventually, probably in about a month time, I might get me 50 quid back. Um, but I did recheck the ad again. They were advertised as new. They weren't even advertised as new old stock. So I've got to be honest, when, when they turned up and I saw the state of the box, I was like, mm, yeah, I was a little bit dubious anyway. But yeah, 50 quid, it's decent money. Advertised as new, so yeah a bit gutted about that and it means i've got to try and find some other speakers so i really don't know what to do looking at these speakers the speakers themselves are fine so whether i just try and get some new grills the problem is these have been on there so long they fit the grill the the actual molding fits the grill perfectly so anything uh any speaker is pro probably going to be slightly different so i don't know what i'll do but I did thought while, um, while I'm waiting, rather than sitting down and doing nothing, I'll show you what I've done. So this is one of the old grills. Um, this is off the near side, it's probably a bit worse. It's broken around the corners here. What happens is people just catch it getting in and out of the car and it always falls off. Um, again, this speaker's not too bad, I don't think. The bit I really wanted to do though was inside the door pockets, you can't, I say you can't see it, it just looks horrible. Like I say, it's got this material on it that's just worn out and wearing off and coming off over the years. 
and in fact I can peel this off quite easily makes a bit of a mess so um, I just needed to do something about that so the idea I had I had some of this old boot lining material left around so this is the stuff I got from Optimize actually and I chose not to use it I used the old boot lining carpet because it was a better fit uh, and I've done one side already so I just marked out some templates cut it out of that material and then I've just um, glued it on with some Evo Evo stick impact adhesive which works really really well actually so ignore the front bit because that's a speaker enclosure and it's just much nicer inside so let's crack on to get the other side done So that's kind of it for that. So pretty straightforward to do. Just making up templates very, very roughly. It's pretty forgiving this stuff. Um, you can, just the way it goes together, you can't really see the join in there. Um, yes, yeah, so that doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. To be honest, that, that's gonna be up against the door card of the car. So you're not gonna see much of it anyway, but it just, it looks much better than it did before. And before when you put your hands down inside, you got caught up in all that material. So quite pleased with that. So obviously the other side. 
again quite pleased with that. Just got to decide what I'm going to do about the speakers now. Half of me is thinking I should just get some new grills for these, but it's getting the right size grills. Um, but I don't know. I think they're six and a quarter inch. I've got six and a half inch. I'm wondering whether I get six inch, it will fit right inside that sort of cut out there, and then maybe I can get like a flush fitting cover. Or, or even make one. It's just left chance of people knocking it when they get in and out of the car then. But those door pockets are really cool actually. I don't know where they come from. They're pretty old. Made of fiberglass. Pretty strong. Obviously lasted the test of time, haven't they? So that's it for this week's update, I think. Sorry there isn't much to show you, but something's better than nothing, isn't it? Thanks for watching. Tune in again next time. Cheers. Oh, I did think I'd mention as well and just say thank you to the subscribers, whoever it was, I can't remember, you know who you are. But um, my garage is probably, I don't know, 50, 60 foot away from the house. I can't, can't get a Wi Fi signal in here. I spoke to some people that said about running like category six cables, um, and that, that's probably longer term what I will do. Um, but someone mentioned about getting one of these thingamajigs here. I can't remember what it's called. It's called a power line adapter. It works really, really well. So you just plug that in there. There's one in the house by the router. And don't ask me how it works because it's all beyond me. I know cars pretty well. Electrics and internet, I don't really know. But it sends the internet signal down the power line and because this house is or the garage is on the same circuit as the house it sends the internet signal through the power line and then to this little transmitter here and that transmits a wi-fi signal in the garage and it works really really well it's not quite as fast as the internet inside the house it's probably about half the speed but that's good enough for me i just want to play some um, youtube videos and music while i'm working away